Hi, I'm Suizetz, digital nomad, web engineer and wearer of hats. Today I'm going to teach you everything I know about mastering D3.js. I say everything, but that's a big word. Let's go for most. Either way, you're about to learn a lot of interesting things about D3.js, the web's most popular turn data into pictures library. And I say today, but you shouldn't rush. Take your time. If you ever have any questions, just shoot me an email or ping me on Twitter. I'm easy to find. I've designed this course with a simple idea in mind, to show you how to build a visualization from start to finish. We're going to build a visualization of all the UFO sightings in the United States that happened since the Second World War. Doing so, we'll go through everything from getting data, drawing maps, interacting with the user, animating things and making sure our code works well, and is structured so we're still going to understand it years from now. But before we do all that, we're going to look at layouts. The magic thing everyone's confused about because it makes pictures show up out of nowhere, but really it's just about reusable data transformation. Looking at code written with D3 layouts feels like looking at magic. Nothing is drawing a picture, but the picture still appears. It comes out of nowhere, with almost no code being used. But once you crack them, they actually make your code easier to understand. So why use layouts in the first place? You don't really need them. You could just as easily write all your code the way you always have, mixing the logic of calculating positions on the screen with the logic of drawing shapes. But that fast becomes messy. When you want to change the shapes something is drawn with, you're burdened with moving all the calculation and data transformation as well. It might not seem like a big deal, but it can be. Just think of the last time you had to refactor a piece of code that had magic values everywhere instead of keeping numbers in configuration variables. And that's where layouts come in. Their whole job is taking some data and transforming it into different data. Data that's easier to draw. That's it. That's all that layouts do. They are a simple function or a set of functions that take some data and transform it into the kind of data that fits the default value accessors of various path generators. The pie layout, for instance, helps you make a pie chart. A layout targeting rectangles would produce coordinates and widths and heights, one for arcs would create end angles and start angles, and so on. Anything we can do to make drawing easier. We're going to look at using layouts in more detail in the next video, but it's very easy in principle. You instantiate a layout, fill it with configuration parameters, give it some data, bind it to some shapes, and voila, a visualization. And that's it! That's how simple layouts make your code. We've gone through some of the basics of D3 layouts. We saw that they're not as magical as they seem, but transform data into other data. Easy. Next, we're going to create a pie chart manually and explore the challenges it offers.